I was looking at my feed and Obsidian's community tab popped up with this Mixler talking about over 60% of Madame Noir's readers, or say black women, pay half or more of their bills in a household. And they went on down the line and says, you know, 46% of black women expect their partners to pay for dates at all times. Um, they want to split it and all that kind of stuff. And so I'm glancing down at it and I don't know why they think this stuff is new because Kevin's done it, O'Shea did it, and then Obsidian did it. And at first I thought, well, maybe it's a revelation. Let me go read it. And so I'm reading it and basically there's no new information there. None. I've said this back five years ago. If you read the book by Liz Mundy called The Richer Sex, and I do believe Hannah, uh, I think it's Hannah Rosen, she said the same thing in The End of Men. This is feminist equity. This is what they planned for way back in like 1970. Equity means that there is equal distribution of power and resources between men and women. It's earnings, all that kind of stuff. And in 20... 11, I do believe. I think that's what that's the year that Liz Monday used in Enrich Your Sex. The distribution between what she calls breadwinners between males and females worked out to be this. And this is not just black, this is white too. 30% of households were led by women, which is breadwinners. They earned more. 33% earned about the, roughly about the same amount, which is 50 50. And 33% were actually led by men, which men were the breadwinners. So, if you take half or more, that would mean 66% of all women in the United States pay half or more of their household bills monthly. And a third of them are breadwinners, which they pay most of the bills. And that Liz Mundy says that you should pay for dates. And amongst equity that most women will pay, at some point, pay for dates. If it's a committed relationship. This is old information. It's old information that I have pointed out years ago. And we only pay attention to it when a black woman says it. Or supposedly a black woman says it because I look on the byline, they really didn't say who wrote it. But we did, they did three shows on, and now it's four with me, on old information that's been out there a long time. And since black women are more independent than most women, period, the number is probably greater as far as households and the amount of money that they pay out. And I know since we're on this, let's bring patriarchy back. We want to be high value males and we, you know, we want to establish control over our households and stuff like that. I, I understand that. But in this financial reality, the way they have the system set up, that's not going to be possible for most people. Most people aren't going to be able to do that. Most men aren't going to be able to do that. Most black men aren't going to be able to do that. Most black women will have to pay a significant amount of their bills. And shaming men for not being able to do it in this environment is ridiculous, in my opinion. It's an ideal? Sure. I'm not for trying to work black men to death just, just for an ideal. That's just not me. I know some people think that that's not manly or masculine, but I don't believe that black men should work themselves to death in this environment against the grain of what's going on for an ideal. Now, if you choose to do it, so be it. But the system is set up for, for uh, women to earn as much as you do or sometimes even more. I know the system is set up for women to earn as much or more than their counterparts, especially black women. And there's really nothing that you can do about it. It's not your system. You didn't set it up. And going forward in the service economy, that's really the way it's going to be. Now, unless, like this brother said, the Black Pill brother said, you can actually send things back to the 1950s, then this is your reality. Now, do you want control over your household because you're paying most of the bills? 
I'm sure most men do. Is that a condition of being married? I'm sure it is. But the thing is, if that is the case, then you probably won't get married because that is not a reality. I would say for at least at least 60% of black men to live a middle class lifestyle, you're going to need help from your counterpart. It is what it is. And only maybe the top 20% of guys can actually do that to actually pay bills and let the wife stay home. And even as we find it out on Kevin's show, that is not a guarantee for you controlling your household for black women. I know for my father, it wasn't. Even though my mom stayed up for the majority of the time, my mother stayed home or worked very little. She was never submissive. Okay, let's put it that way. We don't have submissive women. That's how come women would rather pick lesser dudes so that they can have control. But I thought brothers would have figured that out by now. They think they're picking bad dudes because it, because they're bad dudes and that gets a coochie wet now. Women, black women have always wanted control and they would pick men that allow them to control. Now, if you wanna be a high earning beta male and let that woman control you, then that's what will happen. She'll pick you, of course she'll pick you. See it all the time, I see it all the time. The black women are perfectly happy in this environment and uh, all that's happening is that the rest of the nation is catching up it really has caught up so the stats that they pulled out are basically old you know almost old stats you could have gone back 10 years and saw the same thing especially amongst the black community the exact same thing it hasn't changed you probably gonna go back 20 years and seen the same thing this is nothing new it's nothing new in the united states as promoted by the feminists. You guys are anti-feminists. You guys don't even read feminist literature. And you take one little article from Madame Noir as gospel. Like, oh, shock, shock. We should be embarrassed because black women have to struggle with black men. It's a, it's a very typical reality in the United States. Actually imposed on us by what? By white women. So white men are going through the same thing that we're going through. So don't get your panties all in a bunch by design. But this is the environment that you have to work with. And black men, I hate to say it, cannot change this. You cannot alpha your way through this as much as you would like to think so. But anyway, I wanted to make this short. I'm just laughing because uh, this will go into the category that Negroes don't read or read as much as they should. Now, Kevin is usually on top of this, but uh, now I've said this before. So Kevin should go back in the archives where I've said it. Uh, you go back to 2012, Liz Monday's The Richer Sex. She actually goes through all these stats and actually brags about them that this is the natural order of things. So with that, I'm going to jump off here. This is BGS out and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.